All right, let's do some channel five. It's, it's wavy, man. It's a vibe. I love the fact that like a lot of up and coming brands can connect with established brands and then um, sell products and pay their phone snake. bill. Okay, what about the culture? Love the culture. The culture is the culture. The culture runs the world right now. I feel like you are the culture. In some ways, but being humble is also extremely the move right now. It's bit me in the ass previously when I haven't been as humble. So I'm going to just humble it for the rest of my life now. How? Amen. People get um, intimidated by confidence and success. So help people and be humble and then you'll survive this crazy world that is life. I love, I, I love the awkward silence. If you need to get interviewed by a, a wavy production crew like yourself, you lot create a lot of awkward silences so it exposes the real personality of individuals. I love Damn, that shit. galaxy yeah. brain. It's fucking wavy. Woo! Lamborghini lifestyle, baby. Money talk, baby. The homie Kanye just left. You know what it is with Drake. That's Aubrey to me. I'm on some Lamborghini shit. Lamborghini bitch. With the Lamborghini doors on the green, green whip. <laughs> Yeah. Andrew kind of goes hard. Twenty dollars in reparations. Oh, who ruined Lamborghini, baby? God damn, ba. What? Please reset, Abigail. God damn, ba. God damn, ba. God damn, ba. That line long, boy. God damn, ba. Shit, ba. I right, went inside, right? God ain't got me awful out of that, uh, that right there, right? Okay, got that on, right? Uh, and I put that on top of the, uh, yeah. So I was in there showing them all my spectacular drip. My man said, call my sailor device. So, bam, hello, say less. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> got the wristband for my mans and then acquired that. <laughs> Took that there. <laughs> all right. <laughs> right here. <laughs> no man left behind. You feel me? Let go. My boy's a real one, bro. Goddamn, bye. It's a fellow friend of yours? That's a trapper, that's not my friend. Trappers are not friends, they are associates and business partners. Okay, and sometimes co-defendants, but it's not if you're doing it right. Friends go funny, that trapper, he bought that money. <laughs> Goddamn, boy, shit. What are you gonna do when you get back Why not just be friends, though, at that point? Give it to you, because you look hungry. <laughs> Goddamn, boy. Goddamn, I'm about to make him seasick, watch out. Waves on deck, wave check. Take your hat off, let me see your waves. He ain't got none. <laughs> wave check, you hear that? That's the shore. That's like white noise right there, like shh. But that's an ASR, whatever that shit is, that acronym, y'all know what it is. I don't ASMR. know, I don't care, I don't watch it. Okay, so hat <laughs> is fresh, New York, a visor, LA, shirt, bargain bin. Uh, these are like this guy is cool. from South Florida, and these are from Looks LA. like that guy from Austin oh, shit's Powers. Tripped out. Thanks, bro. Uh, my name is Survivor Man, spelled like server, S-E-R-V-I-V-E-R, -E uh, an Anon artist that's doing some NFT stuff. What's the most you ever made off an NFT? Uh, I, have a, I have a V friend that I bought on the first day, so that's worth like, that? like 10 ETH now. Oh, wow. How much money is that? Like $40,000. What the heck is an NFT? So an NFT is a non-fungible token, and it's basically a fancy word for digital art. And digital mm -hmm. art is changing now because you can actually own it, and it's all about being written onto the blockchain. Yeah. And so now digital art can live on permanently, forever. Well, until until a dick super good million dollars, I swear to God. Really? I swear to God, bro. Last week, the homie hit for like a mil sum on a dick pic NFT. I don't know like the exact details of who he sent it or whatever, but yeah, he got a million dollars for a dick pic NFT. Who purchased the NFT? I don't, I don't know. Anonymous, you know what I mean? Maybe it is. I don't know. He, maybe, he probably do know. For a million dollars, you got to know who sold it. You know what I mean? NFTs and Gary V counting cheese. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching Channel 5 Action News. We're here right now live at the Complex Con in Long Beach, California. We're going to talk to some artists, influencers, leaders, followers, networkers, marketers, rappers, so what the fuck fashion designers, Complex fashion Con? purchasers, producers, engineers, to figure out what the hell's going on and what's so complex about this con. Come on, guys. Let's go. I was on No Jumper for fucking 500 guys. No, 50 guys in one night. 500 total in my lifetime. Yeah. So for those who don't know, can you tell us your name and what you're doing out here? Hi, my name is Kazumi, and I am trying to pay rent um, by advertising my own fans. Um, you know, if you're comfortable selling your assets, just like everything else, if you have those assets, sell it. How'd you get started doing fans? I Makes used to sense. have a slave in college that would, like, let me put stuff in his dick hole. <laughs> How much did he pay? Um, it was 300 at the time, but it was more of, like, an experience. So I just felt like this is my calling during COVID. How does that you help? That. You should try it. Defense? Yeah, you probably look good, okay, maybe naked. <laughs> what if you did that but naked? If I interviewed people butt naked? Yeah, that could be kinky. But only for Patreon. <laughs> I'll subscribe. Hell yeah. Honestly, Why the dick hole though? Hey yo, channel five. You I'm just over do the here at that point. Con. I'm barely alive. I'm playing on ultra nightmare mode. Trying to strive and prosper like ASAP. Where that AIDS at? Hey. I'm doing no not November right now though. I was watching um 
uh, breastfeeding videos on YouTube. That's yeah. how bad it's gotten. How come you're doing No Nut November? It's a it's a big time suck, you know, because like you're trying to figure out what video to watch, and then four hours later, a <laughs> hundred tabs open. You're like, all right. I used to be really strong with that shit. I used to only jerk off like once a week, but somewhere along the way, I kind of started slipping. Oh, I remember back in the day when Fallen I was at my soldier. horniest. I, I left like Friday night church service, like the middle of worship. I went to the um, bathroom and just fucking, you know, oh, sprayed man. that whole toilet seat down. My name is Tevin Bailey. That's tough. Tom Sorry Bailey. To that. We're the Bailey twins. Bailey twins. Are oh, we taking over? I mean, yeah, we are. We're the coast, not the clown. We're waiting for so. y'all to catch up at this point. What's the biggest difference between y'all? Taste and female. I'm more on the thicker side, I would say. And he's more on the petite or slim thick. No, no I, hey, I'm like, throw it back. I'll catch I, I've seen him do a throw lot. Back. I'll catch you. Like, you know, a, What's up, dude? What's good, G? How are you doing? This is my twin timing right here, right? All right. Honestly, well, a... I'll just finish this one over here since he just left me over there, guys. But uh, yeah, any other questions you got? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, mad gummies. What are we talking about over here? Hold on, man. Stay in your interview, dog. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay here and we stay. Whoa. What the fuck is happening? Talk, right, so anyway, so I don't know who's doing it. But anyway, like I was saying, so we came to the so rude, but I don't know how nice these were. I'm going to get the high tops tomorrow, so them sleeves even crazier. Those are the ones with the teeth. I don't really like the Bailey twins. No. This is way too much. I don't actually know what you're talking about, but I hope you get the high tops This right here, I would wear. And now I'm 25, and I would still wear this. That's creativity. When I first saw it, my childhood came back to me, you know? So I'm a kid again, you know? I got that Toys R Us <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What does it mean to drip? This right here? You see that? What is drip? Though? Work uniform, right? But would you wear these to work? Or the way I, the whole style, the whole, this, the vibe of it all, would you show it to work like this? You work at 7-Eleven? I don't. I'm a model, actor, creative with my twin right here. What's up, dog? What's up? Thank God. Like you get a lot Jesus, of information and knowledge. Uh, I got a few things. I can tell you this. Everything that's going on, both politically, Globally is all planned. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Have a good one, dude. Right, Thank you. My wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Can you tell us about your face mask? She got it for me. And, uh, yeah, I like it. I, I, I like it a lot. I got two masks today, but uh, this one's my. Sit on my face, assholes live forever. Oh, my God. That's so sweet, bro. That is so cute. What a healthy relationship they have. And he looks so happy. Okay. This Good one's getting them. more, uh... The men like it more than the girls do. Why'd you get that for him? Why not? Good. Yeah, good point. Was it sort of like, you're not really doing this enough, like... <laughs> I'm gonna get this for you so that every time you see yourself in the mirror, you're like... Thinking about the fact that you need to do that more often? No, I'm like, he's so good at it, I'm like, I want everyone to, like, no. try it. Like, go. Like I said, baby, go. What? what? Like, having girls sit on his face. You know, I just... What I, a deal. I, I give it... TLC, you know, that tender love and care. Do you apply that elsewhere in your life? Like, do you have a business or like a passion? No business, uh, passion. Yeah, no, I'd say that's my passion, yeah. It is having like people sit on his face. Come sit on my face, baby. I see you also have an interesting shirt. Yeah. Who's that? Who's that? This is, uh, this is from, this is some Russian lady, yeah. She paints, water, like, erotic yeah. watercolors. What's up? Sit on my face! How do you feel? What the fuck is up? Sit on my face! How do you feel about eating pussy? What? <laughs> <laughs> Sit on my face! He got more than he bargained for. Cool mask though, right? I think that maybe he saw your mask and he thought that, you know, maybe he could, he could be one of the people that... I mean, if he has a pussy, yeah. But my passion is pussy, not... Or pussy eating, not... Uh, you could get teabagged like it's a Halo 2 lobby. I don't know. Why not? I respect the fucking shit out of you. <laughs> What's your name? Nate. You have any nicknames? Uh, no. You want one? Sure. Nate Doug. Cool. Do you have any money? That guy's awesome. Yeah. How much? Not a lot. Like, how much are we talking? Like, 150. How much are the Kerwin shoes? I think, like, 180. So you gotta get 30 more bucks? Mm hmm. What's the plan? Uh, try to get 30 more bucks. Do you have any strategy for that? Uh, not really. What's your cash? He'll probably find it I on don't the ground. Have one. I have Venmo, though. What grade are you in? Uh, 12th. You almost made it? Mm-hmm. You thinking you're gonna go to college or what? Uh, I'm gonna do a gap year. Are you gonna go to Europe? No. Thailand? No. You gonna get in an apartment <laughs> in downtown LA and just smoke Halloween? Uh, yeah. Seriously? Sure. What's your budget for an apartment? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, man. Well, you have a bright future. Thank you. Shout out Nate Dog. I'll see you in there, bro. Bye, yeah, Nate. So Silky basically is a part of our brand. Uh, it is basically an emotional support hey, companion almost. Do they come in like different ages? Ages, sizes, skin color, 
different tones, different flavors, uh, different genitals. He, she, they, their, uh, um, uh, because we're also going to be doing ones that are uh, in wheelchairs, small people, we're doing animals, we're doing a whole silky universe. It is actually an emotional companion, it's Aww. an emotional spirit. It's there to actually uplift your emotional intelligence. Yeah, yeah, really and truly, we're making history and her story. Nice. So what the fuck is uh, Complex Con? Jesus Christ. I, good God, what is this? Complex Con is a music festival. What? How is this a music festival? This is like a like a gathering of the juggalos. Well, I mean, obviously, no one here's like a juggalo, but like I get the same energy. It's a pop culture conversation about what's important now. Oh, this is actually about that page on Instagram, isn't it? Complex. Oh. It's a blend between a festival and an exhibition. Why? So you get the worst of both worlds? I mean, like, why attend? I know why they do it, money, but why, why attend? What? Why? I guess you can watch the Lil Yachty concert. Has he made a song in the last 10 years? A bunch of brands went. It looks like almost nothing but brands went. Holy shit, there's a long list. Yeah, this is like a corporate convention. Cool. What's going on right here? We got a rainbow. We got a creature. You want to sit down, son? Please sniper. Back here, back here, back here. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling really fun. loved right here. We're going to play well, RCs tomorrow. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, would you get in a creature suit if I have a whole creature suit? Yeah, I would do that. <laughs> I got too much fucking shit on me. <laughs> I'm a silky now. You're a silky? Yes. You're just a blue monster, that's what you are. I'm here to fuck silkies. <laughs> I have an inquiry. When you use the bathroom, are your bowels blue? Nah. I, he just put on the costume, bro. He hasn't had shit yet. What's up, what's your name? Kevin Bradford. Damn, oh, the guy's tall. Today? I'm promoting Father Steve. Okay, what's he do? We're selling loot boxes. We have mice. We we have the trading card game. We have we have every we have everything here. Good God! Saw, like, like this weird stand with like dinosaurs with like butterflies on it. I thought it was kind of weird, but uh, I didn't think it was bad. I just thought it was weird. I absolutely love it here. Seeing all the brands, uh, taking pictures with people, uh, pr promoting myself too. <laughs> Sounds like you're uh, you're going up. Your clouds going up. Um, I actually uh, was on a documentary uh, called Tallest Teens. Yeah, and, uh, Wait, I imagine you would I'm be. Seven foot two. I'm the Guinness World Record holder for tallest teenager in 2016. Holy shit, bro, that is crazy. I I would hate to be that tall, man. Like, there's no way that's fun. That looks painful. That looks like just an like a really painful existence. What if your dream of slam dunking as a pro? I do believe that I have the potential to be in the. It's NBA. not copium. It is. That would be painful. If you continue to grow, I actually have back problems because I'm this height. Yeah, it's on the basketball court, but uh, I'm trying to stay as far away from that as possible. That's just not my. Uh, that's not my style. But did you know if you like make the basket, like you'll make like 20k. 20k. I think it just reach over from the three-point line. Uh, I'm feeling kind of nervous. I believe in you, bro. I think, you, I think you're going to do great. I don't know. I'm wearing a suit, so I can't really extend my arms that far, so I don't know. Oh, shit. We got the right young man. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's go. Interesting shooting technique. No. Oh. Here's the pillow, baby. We're going to do an ass. It's a legitimate. 
Thank you. They gave me toilet paper to wipe my ass. Yo, so uh, he seems like a nice guy. This nice Ferris Hill, Ferris wheel uh, cannot be ridden by nobody. He's a prime. The blue. old man will not let me ride it, nor I anybody. Said hi, Appreciate the visit. It's just for show. My mama always told me about that wall. Perhaps Colby. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what are you in line for right now? In line? I believe Mac DeMarco. The Mac DeMarco is performing in this cardboard castle? I don't have no idea. That's what I was told, so that's what I'm doing. What if he's not? Then uh, we'll see what happens, honestly. What was her name? I'm Joe. Hey! You know it yeah, pretty much. Me and me and the homie did. Hey, three six, five, uh, right. Oh, man. How you doing in school right now? I was doing pretty solid in class. And then after the switch to online, I feel like it's just harder and different. You're not cheating? I mean, the normal amount, like on homework. <laughs> the healthy amount of cheating. Skip the town. Let's get out and see what we find. I've been doing this for about like, I don't know, 12 years now. So I feel a bit old. I feel a bit like an uncle now. You know it kind of looks saying? like Bradley Cooper. Feels good. It's also a bit depressing. I'm a lot older than I used to be. That's how time but works. I'm so younger than I will be soon. Aging is That's cringe. I love Maximus. He's so philosophical. <laughs> love, love is like, like a flower. Okay, you don't know I'm Mac DeMarco? Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. I've actually never yeah. heard that name. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. some dirt. Let me give some purple. Is he going to DMCA me for that? Oh, 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 Pretty good, you pretty check good. Him out. I'm sorry about earlier. All right, I'll check him How out. How you doing, though? I'm, I'm actually doing great. I found this job on Craigslist. Keep it 100 with you. Uh, I'm not Kerwin Frost, as you can see. Uh, but I'm grateful for the opportunity. This suit is hot as fuck. Jesus walked on water so I could drip on you niggas. Pace got washed on water while me drip, pussy nigga. Jesus walked on water so I could drip on these niggas. I love Channel 5, man. I watch y'all all the time. Shouts out Channel 5. Channel 5's gotten so stuff, big now. Follow shit. That's how we're leaders. I own, a I own a company called Fuck You Want right now. Me and my brother started that. We we're about to get sent to Virginia. We we're about to get sent to the Navy. You feel me? And when I was out there, we started about the company. Now we're a million dollar company. I'm doing that shit. I don't give a fuck about the cloud. Everything we're doing, I'm living it. And that's it. Hey, yo, have you seen his hair design? Everybody? Yeah, that's have cool. Have you seen it on the internet, though? No. What was his company? Fuck You Want? What do they do? The advertising's working. This whole fucking convention is just added, I guess. But let's see. Fuck you want what? Is that like an LLC, maybe? How fuck you pay me is empowering creators. Is that it? No, this is founded by Lindsay Lee. Do I have any uh, fuck what you want enthusiasts in here? What, what do they do? Maybe Instagram? Yeah, let me check that. Well, he said it's a million dollar business. I don't think it's this one. This has 400 followers and it's nothing but My Hero Academia. Probably not that. Well, then again, he has like My Hero Academia hair. Maybe it is. I don't know. But it's probably not. This one's called I Wanna Fuck You Baby. That's probably also not it. I can't find his company. It said non-follower CEO, but he said it's fuck what you want, right? Let's try non-follower. Maybe that's just what he calls it. Just fuck what you want. That didn't work either. No, it didn't work. Oh, 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 it's fuck F-U-C-C. -C. Oh, 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 thank you, Space. Okay. No, no, I bet it's real. This is all ads. Yep, there it is. Found it. Yeah, I found that immediately. Definitely can't show this on stream. But yeah, found it immediately with that. I, I don't know how much I believe the claim that it's a million dollar business. They're at 18k followers on Instagram and that seems to be the main source. Let me check their site. Their clothing brand. 
The site's kind of nostalgic. It's kind of designed like the old Space Jam website. Or maybe I'm just not loading properly. I'm not really sure. But there's only two buttons. You can search or you can click cart. And then there's this picture of five dudes wearing different clothes. <laughs> I would say maybe we need to refine the, the fuck you want website. But I, again, I'm, I'm not the... I'm not the expert. I don't really know. The clothes look pretty cool, though. Ask everybody where they got that shit from. Tell me where it started. They're gonna look at me. You heard? I like the hair. The hair looks sick. Oh, thank you, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it. It used to be purple. Okay, that's hard. Oh, where'd you get the idea for it? For the hair? Um, I don't. It was just Halloween. So yeah, we met some dude who said he invented the spider web. Unlucky. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I had a TikTok that blew up about my hair, and he's like, oh, this kid's a pussy. No way. I was like... You should fight him. They should hard. fight. They don't own that shit, but yeah. yeah. No, it's hard. My friend called me the albino Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Can you ball? Uh, not really. Uh, I'm working on a basketball court in uh, St. Louis. Oh, for real? Oh, I love basketball. That's a sick shirt. Where'd you, uh, where'd you get it from? My friend Austin. Ass Pizza. Ass Pizza? Yo, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ass pizza? pizza? Uh, he's dope. The brand name is Ass Pizza. I think like he just fucking just put it together, some shit like that, right? So. Do you like Ass Pizza? Mm-hmm. Can you give him a shout out? Shout out Ass Pizza. Who's Ass Pizza? I don't know. <laughs> just heard of him. This is working. These are great brand names. Do we have any Ass Pizza fans? Hold on a second. Man, I need to like, I need to get younger. I need to start like actually fucking like getting getting in the the mega mix here. Fucking twenty seven, but now I'm feeling like I'm ninety. Never heard of Ass Pizza. It's another clothing brand. Man, what is up with these websites? This is the same thing. There's only two buttons. There's home and view cart, and a picture of two different hoodies. Man, we gotta we gotta work on this. We boys, we we gotta streamline the Ass Pizza site here. This is just not gonna work. We gotta, we gotta up that shit. About to get some head relax. He took a trip to the woods near the farm. Where I'm humping my chick outside. Is getting right. mosquito Sir, bits on my arm. Right. My name is Matt Austin. People know me as Ass Pizza. Uh, I make clothes. Why do they call you Ass Pizza? That's just uh, my Instagram name that I have for a long time, and now I'm just stuck with it for life. I don't like Fair. to associate it with pizza or ass. You don't like pizza? Pizza's delicious. Do you like ass? Yeah, I love ass. Fair, fair. Can you tell us Good about your, your face tattoo? You know, one day I just said, fuck it, man. I'm going to get the face tattoo. I didn't really think about it. I was at a point where I was just like, fuck it, man, you know? And it just, like, didn't feel part of this world. So I was like, I'll just get a face tattoo, you know? Well, I don't want to see all those. I was kind of focused on this one down here. Is this from uh, Evangelion? I didn't watch enough to know for sure, but I'm pretty sure that's the, like, one of the girls from it, right? And this is Spaghetti Boys. I think this is Santa Claus, kind of? I don't know. I'm not sure. So who is this? No, this is not from Evangelion. Huh. Didn't feel part of this world, so I was like, I'll just get a base that, you know? And I told my mom that it was temporary. The craziest thing I ever done was not pull out. Do you have a child? I'm about to. Oh, hey, congrats. That's hard, bro. I go by Holy Barber. If anybody wants to follow me on Instagram. Yeah, it's like, I wouldn't tell anyone to go get a fucking face that, you know? It's just like, I feel some, like nowadays, an like, you can still get a job and shit, you know? Like, I feel like no one actually really fucking cares about it, so. All right, yeah. I got to handle something later, but uh, it's fine. What's going on? Just this guy talking shit, man. You know, I deal with haters every day, but it just... What? Fuck it. I understand, bro, you know? Wait, how does he I handle it? I started a lot of this shit, you know? But I'm just a humble, nice guy. Does he know? just beat their ass? I really don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> Damn, wait, this guy actually travels with, a, like, a crew. kids here that are just sort of like willing to sacrifice themselves and everyone around them to get close to people like you 
How does that make you feel? It's just like, you know, once you get here, man, it's like, that's it, you know? It's not what you think, man. You know, I just like cool shit, man, and it's like, I feel like I know what's He's cool, you know? And it's like, what I want to see. Me and my friends, you know, I'm very grateful to have all my friends who also hey, like, he's friends with Zilla. You know, are on the same wavelength, you know, like, I fuck with real shit. I love Zilla but I feel like everything is just so fake and like, generic. This and, guy's like, the real deal. To market this shit to like, you know, I don't know, just some fake bullshit, man. I fuck with Kerwin shit and Steve shit, you know, everything else. They're trying to make a quick buck, you know? At what point do you think a brand goes from being like, authentic and cool to like corny like what is that turnover point it all just comes when like you stop thinking about like what you want to bring into the world instead of like oh, that's pizza kind of inspirational you know? if you're like making sick shit like the money's gonna come no matter what so it's like you can't stress over it, you know i don't know i just feel like people try way too hard and they just want fast shit they're not thinking long term you know they're like oh what's popping now let's copy this guy and then sell this Thank you some stiff. it'll run you straight to the ground man has anybody ever offered you like a major brand deal, like a Zoomies mall style thing? Yeah, there was a, you know, a lot of shoe brands wanting to work with me and shit. It's just like, first of all, there's always one person who's scared and nervous and doesn't understand it, so I can't fully do what I want. I don't know, they just complicate shit trying to work with people. And what I really want to show to kids is that like, you don't need anyone to help you really. Like, It's interesting True. what you said about like longevity, right? Like, no matter what you do, someone's going to imitate you. If you come out with something authentic, there's going to be people who cute, make comrade. actually successful companies, successful media companies, successful clothing companies, copying your exact style. Yeah, I see I see a lot of people copying me. You know, I just keep my mouth shut because it's like, that's my goal. I'm really trying to just inspire people. So fuck it, it's going to happen, you know? And oh, it's like, once good you attitude. people out, you just look like a loser. So I know my influence, so I'm going to just keep going and just like, you know, I must be on some shit, so everyone's copying me, so, you know, whatever. People are gonna copy you, you know? They're on some loser shit. Yeah. I, people, bro, I know who's copying you. They're trying to he seems like a nice you. guy. Fuck them, bro. Fuck them. Who are you talking about? You know who I'm talking about, bro. We don't even gotta say their name. How did you react when you first saw someone just copying your shit? You know, it's cool. It's cool. We're influencers, man. <laughs> We're influencers, bro. <laughs> That's why we get free shit for, man. Free sandwiches, right? That's why we get free sandwiches. Lions don't concern themselves with, uh... You gotta wake up and stay hungry like a fucking tiger every day, bro. An army of sheep led by a lion will destroy an army of lions led by a sheep. <laughs> the leader is the most important thing. How do you feel about people stealing your haircut style? <laughs> I don't care. As long as, as long as I do my best, that's what matters. Tell you right the third. That was pretty profound. The man to the world in. Street smart, a lot of power. Devil Don Tom, internet With icon. So back in the old music, you talk a lot about the devil and Satan. How many people were like really worshiping the devil associated with Memphis music at that time? It's like a lot. Of, it's not devil worshiping, but it's a lot of evil shit. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of evil spirits. Cutthroat city, cutthroat mentality. That's what Memphis is about. How did Memphis change like from that old school style to tough. what it is now? Because if you think about like Memphis yeah. new artists, right? Like Push Tasty oh, and Ali Chaba, it's more like Atlanta sound, like modern trap. Like when did the uh, like 3-6 Tommy Wright shit kind of like transition? A little bit after the 2000s. It's kind of when Atlanta started to, you know, mimic our sound, you know, a lot of shit started to change. And then our city just tried to be more, you know, universal with their sound. You had that crazy peak in the 90s, but it now seems like your, your career is bigger than ever right now. Like you have more fans than of all time. How did that happen? Like how did you pop off like 10 or 15 years after the songs first came out? Let's say what it is, man. Soundtracks and new rappers wanting to sample. Like your shows in New Orleans is like 150 Fair. skaters, all that shit, like moshing. Did you ever imagine when you first made those songs back in the day that that was? You know, nah, Dutch. you know, I, I never thought that. But you know what? Gangsta walking is a lot like Marshall, and that's what we do. Because we got that same energy, that same shit, that same pushing. We did that shit without a skateboard. <laughs> My name's Guabdad4000. I'm a fan of yours. Hey, hey, another fan. We just watched some fan. shit that you did, and OGZ was in it. I was on my ass laughing the whole time. He's queuing on. And you niggas is hilarious. Yeah. And this suit is crazy. Do you wear a bad suit on purpose? Uh, yeah. I figured. Where you get it from? Goodwill. I figured. You gotta watch out for mothballs, man. Mothballs? Mm -hmm. Who's mothballs? They be doing, they be using them in Goodwill, for real. Yeah. 
why is it dangerous to have mothballs in your clothes? I said just watch out for him. I didn't necessarily merit any danger. I'm sorry if you felt that from my tone, King. No, I didn't. Am I didn't. being too aggressive? No, I don't think so. Damn it, Guap, stop doing that. Huh? Do you cop any <laughs> cops today? Um, what did I actually spend money on? Odie, oh, I bought some shoes. Bro, you have like I nine like bags. Thank what you. do you mean? You, I like my music too. I like your music. I like your confidence. I like your creativity from without the music. I, I follow your stuff. Thank you. It's it's ill. What's your name, dog? Kosha Dills. Tight. So I'm running a marathon tomorrow. Oh, that's why you got the whole shit going on. Brent. Well, is it a purpose? Hey, thanks for the raid, Liana. Um, I hope you had a great no, stream. Coming off of a, a big run off Make of a prime horror movie. Movie. rapping with Fat Joe in a rainstorm, Friends. and I felt that oh, internet. Oh, nigga, I've been seeing you. <laughs> I've been seeing you. I damn near follow you. Man, everyone just is like a bunch of friends here. Everyone knows everyone. I really appreciate the raid, Liana. You're welcome. Nigga, you still got the umbrella? Yeah. Well, that's kind of weird. Check it out, all right. Beatbox, rap and fly like I have to guy. I use five hands on my finger, channel five. Do you know my rap Ooh. flow? Do you know why I'm holding umbrella? It's me mimicking what happened last week at MSG with Fat Joe. I was rapping in a rainstorm. He's like, hey, bro, can I rap with you? I'm like, okay, dog, but you need an umbrella because you don't want to get real wet. I used to have hair on my head. It was impossible. Back in the day, they filled the microphone with follicles. I do it on the fast track, Ooh. right through the pass track. And other people say, yeah, what's follicles. the cash app? So send money now. And don't act so funny now and channel five i hope you guys like my fucking style and if you don't have any money to borrow send a cash app to someone else and i'll see you guys tomorrow cash app the best subject to incorporate hey, into Theresa. your freestyle rhyme Point scheme to tier impress one people who went to the complex con guy kind of went hard months ago for a minute uh, use code channel five for a free 15 dollars for new users i gotta have uh my airpods i'm gonna listen to your music while i run put you on my marathon playlist thank you how many miles is the total marathon 26.2 Woo! Why, so but you still ain't said why i think i think you need to have certain different kinds of music like in the beginning you don't want to be too no, guys about music why is you running for 26 miles nigga? I, I love i love running man it's like a journey in life so life is a marathon you need 26 miles of it yeah, you need more, really. Seems I was a little bit <laughs> excessive. <laughs> Channel 5, love y'all. I haven't seen this man Everyone's in Everyone's so years. nice here. Four years, but old friends, been a minute. <laughs> in the fucking house. We, we go way back with a guy named Tom Catchinson. Tom Catchinson? Yes. Thank you, man. Uh, me and Tom Catchison uh, played on the high school soccer team. As I think I think he we went to Edison High School together and, and Herbert Hoover Middle School. Me and Tom, uh, we They're were nice we and horny. A, uh, There's only been like concert. one OnlyFans here so far. Yeah, like OnlyFans. Remember Maybe Amber? Horny. Amber is the color of your inner dream. The earth isn't flat, but it's hollow. Yo, what is hollow. this booth? What? Was that Toon Summon Skull in the Millennium Puzzle? Damn. What? Why are we just now getting here? Fuck, I should have gotten the Complex Con. Look at that shit. And inside the uh, hollow earth, there's like giant octopus. I believe that there's water above and below us, and it's giant octopus. Come on, man, we're talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! Stop. How'd you learn about the octopus in the earth? We don't need the reptilians in hollow earth. I thought about it, and I was like, if you watch the Matrix, the robots is octopus, and then I realized that the earth is more water than anything. How can we get in touch with the octopuses? You just gotta use your third eye and meditate. True. Um, I, I tell everybody, don't get the vaccine. What does that have to do with the octopus? To talk to the octopus? <laughs> Good one. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. what, what did that have to do with a hollow earth octopus? That was cool. I've never heard of Complex Con, but learned about ass pizza. 